Welcome back to The Wolf and the Melody. My name's Tommy. Tonight, we are checking out more Poets of the Fall, Cradled in Love. I had this song uh, requested a good bit. I really enjoyed this journey into Poets. Um, it's been really cool. It's been really great. A lot of the music is just incredible. And so, it's just been fun. It's been really fun. If you're new to the channel welcome in i'm so glad that you took time out of your day to be here i don't tell people to subscribe i don't tell people to like the videos i'm just grateful you took time to be here i wanted to build a channel where we can discover music together share memories together and talk life be an encouragement to one another and just lift each other up so thank you for being here that means a lot all right let's get into this Cradled in love. That is creepy as shit. I like that you can hear her steps. You have the blue notes, sapphire eyes to back up all those gazes, to pierce my guard and to take my soul off to faraway places. Told me I'll never. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. I don't mean to pause. I'm going to rewind it. Um, You know when, like, a song starts and you're immediately like, oh, shit. Like, you could just feel, like, just something about the song. And I'm getting the impression... That, like, he's a ghost? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Guys, I fucking cried everything, dude. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pause. Um, fuck. Wow. What a voice. I feel like I fast forwarded. Did I fast forward? I'm so sorry, guys. This is awful of me. I was just alive. So don't cry for your love. Cry tears of joy. Cause you're alive. Cradled in love. Don't cry. Cause you're 
Oh my god. You guys, I'm sorry. I have this... Uh, this thought. Um... I feel like most of us have lost someone. And, uh, and when you have like a bond with them, especially if it's a positive, just a really good one, it's so tough. And, uh, I had this other thought when I was thinking about like this in this in the context of like love like um 
losing someone you love, like maybe a partner or something. And uh, at first I was thinking about, I lost my sister a few years ago. And I lost my dad a few years before that. And uh, <laughs> last and last year I lost my uh, I lost my my cat, <clears throat> and uh, and just a couple weeks ago I've not I've not told any of you guys this. Uh, only a few people knew, but I lost my my grandfather. Um, he was he was technically my ex wife's grandfather, but I spent a lot of time with them and that he became like that to me and I, I lost him a few weeks ago and um, but what was coming back to me was in the context of like like this like love like uh, a relational partner love and uh, I'm just being honest I'm just being honest I find that I'm very cynical I'm very cynical to any type of love like like in my in my mind seeing this like seeing this video and seeing these two and uh that they were able to experience that right based on the lyrics and in my head I'm like that's impossible <laughs> and I know that's not true and it just it makes me think about uh I feel like most of us, most of us, we grow up and we hope. And this isn't, listen, let me be, let me be fucking clear about this. This isn't like some sappy, desperate, desperation. It's not. Um, but I, I'm speaking from a place of childhood desire. There was, you know, I feel like most of us, we were kind of, told or we kind of just saw that we're going to grow up and we're going to meet somebody and we're going to experience you know love real love and when you get older you realize first of all love isn't hard it's the people <laughs> and um And you, you have a choice. And especially if you've been hurt. You can build walls. And just not allow anybody in. Or you can. And I said this before in another video. You can set boundaries. So that your heart's open. But you got boundaries up. And people can't cross those things. Because they keep you safe. But you know the right person would respect that. And as I, I'm like watching this, I'm, I'm feeling that cynical because, uh, and I feel selfish, like talk, I don't even want to talk about this. Like I, I feel selfish, um, Oh, I don't. I'm going to, I'm going to say this and I'm going to, we're going to change the, the subject. I'm just, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm being real about how I feel about this. I personally have struggled with feeling like, uh, being seen, like really seen, like, When it comes in the sense of like uh like a partner, you know. Um and I think that's where the cynicalness comes from, like um and that's a part of me that I have to work on. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry for that like long you guys are gonna be watching this and being like, Oh my god. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, beautiful song, man. This guy can fucking sing. Uh, Marco. Wow, he can sing. And he's, uh, it's incredible. He's incredible. 
the kind of voice that like just instantly touches your heart but the melody in the very beginning when the song started like wow i could i knew i knew when i heard that i was like oh god like i've noticed that in their music you know what i mean and this was really great great lyrics just great lyrics that convey that emotion I'm sorry, guys. This is I'm all over the place in this this review, this reaction. I appreciate you all, like for real. And uh, you know what? I'm realizing more and more as we do this, like this channel is becoming kind of like a vlog of my life. I can go back and look at certain videos and see where I was at. I do believe that uh, we can have real, real love. I think a lot of us need to dig deep and really search ourselves and put in, put in the work to be the best versions of ourselves. And, uh, Like I'm naturally an introvert. I don't I don't really feel loneliness very often. But even with that, when you connect with a soul, your heart ties to another. And it is it is magical. It is a beautiful thing. And it's possible. Love you guys. If you like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, The Wolf and the Melody. I appreciate y'all. Stay lovely, stay metal. Until next time, we'll be back with another.